What's not to like about that? The infinite, the cosmos, source and end of all, of which we are a tiny speck in that infinity of the absolute. Take it back. So we're going to end um, uh, with a quote from Malcolm X. So land is the basis of all independence. Land is the basis of freedom, justice, and equality. So let's take the land back. All right, thank you everyone for coming. And like I said, uh, meet over at the water cooler. If you want kids' activities, you can plant some sunflowers. You don't have to be a kid to take a sunflower home. Uh, we're going to plant some tomatoes and a little hedgerow, so meet over there. If you want to do a farm tour with Gray, you're going to meet over that sign. Gray is wearing that uh, funny little hat and a green shirt. And then lastly, we're going to be over here with uh, Rosa. Rosa. Raise your hand. You can smell the pupusas. We're gonna have a little pupusa making workshop. That's gonna be followed up with some uh, bamboo weaving and then possibly something from Charlie, maybe some gundruk in a little bit at the end. All right, so let's give it up for all of us. Thank you everyone for coming. And uh, have some fun, take some food home. And we said the program's gonna end at six, so probably more like 6.30 since we're a little behind. So enjoy yourself. Um, everything's compostable, so please put it in the compost bin or take it home with you. And um, remember that this is a project that needs a lot of help and a lot of funding. So on your way out, if you'd like to make a contribution to see the program going, we're launching a farm incubation program this upcoming Tuesday. Um, it's a farmer program with all the communities you've, you've heard from. Feel free to make a, a contribution to, uh, you can make checks out to Pueblo. You can also put cash in jars. Um, we also need all types of office equipment. So you can go to any of our websites, make a donation or or just uh, come out and, and lend a hand. So thank you again for coming out. Um, the question you guys was, how did we actually get, get this land lease? The answer is that I have an old friend who was friends with someone on the board of directors of East Bay Mud. Uh, he was the president of the Bike Coalition for many years. I used to work in bikes. And I asked him just to do me a favor. And so he introduced me to the board member, who then said, hey, I know the person you want to talk to. He introduced me to someone who's really high up in the organization, and he says, I have someone you want to talk to. And he introduced me to the watershed manager, the person who's in charge of managing all of the watershed lands. And it turned out he was from a, he was a family farmer, and he had always wanted to do a project like this, and was just waiting for someone to approach him. So I was pretty lucky. But that's how things, these things happen. Let's get to the